Listen, the Trump administration put together a deal between the UAE, also Bahrain, also Sudan, Sudan. And, and Israel. Where are you from? I'm from Palestine. You're from Palestine? Yes, I'm Palestinian, Palestinian flag. Okay. <laughs> Uh, are you from the West Bank or Gaza? I'm from uh, Nazareth. You're from Nazareth? Yes. Okay. Uh, when did you leave? Long time ago. I was a, I was a baby. I've been here for 20 years. Okay. Um, but when you introduced me, you, you introduced yourself, you said you were from UAE. No, no, I was born in UAE. Oh, born in UAE because my family in Palestine, they went to UAE to work oh, okay. and went back. Because there's not a lot of jobs in Palestine for Palestinians. So I, there were two years I was born in UAE, but my parents are Palestinians. I see, I see. So how long have you lived in, uh, in the Palestinian territories? Uh, I would say close to 10 years. You lived there 10 years? Yes. And how do you feel about the uh, administration there, the uh, Palestinian Authority? Uh, I'm against the Palestinian Authority. Uh, they're not doing a good job. I think a lot of people donating money to improve Palestine, make Palestine a better country, but the Palestinian Authority, they're stealing the money. Mahmoud Abbas and everybody in Fatah, they steal the money. Right, right. There's a lot of embezzlement over there. The Palestinians are not eating. Everybody, they are eating, but the Palestinians are hungry. And there's no uh, commerce, there's no business there. Huh? There's a lack of business there because of the, administ the, uh, the PA. The administration, yes. So this deal then, for the UAE to, to, to go in uh, along with Israel, does it benefit the, do you think that the Palestinian people will be then, uh, well, we'll have a reason to get the, the uh, a boss and the leadership to, to, to be more lenient? The UAE over there, they're there for themselves. The UAE, the UAE country, they're known just to worry about themselves. There's business for them to make money. There's nothing for the Palestinians. And that's why I'm against all the peace deal that's going on between Bahrain and UAE, because the peace needs to be done with the Palestinians. UAE never fired a bullet toward the Israelis to even make peace with them. They're just out there in it for themselves. I know even though I was born in UAE, I hate that country so much. Is it a dictatorship? It is. A, it's like a, almost like a, it's a run by family. So I was like, I'm a Palestinian. I was born in UAE. Yeah. They didn't even offer me any benefits. I don't get any benefits. Because out there, the benefits is for the Mohammed bin Zayed and all his family and the Zayed family. So it used to be that a boss could say, well, I have the whole Arab world behind me. We're all boycotting Israel. But now, is there a possibility that without the backing of all the other, of the Gulf Arab states, that Abbas will be forced to sit down and negotiate a deal? Honestly, I don't think so. Nobody ever listened to him from the first place. He's, uh, nobody respects Mahmoud Abbas. He's out there like a joke. Nobody ever respected the Palestinian Authority at all. Uh, if you really dig deep into the Palestinian Authority, all they do out there is they steal money. They're into the theft, nobody's eating. Mahmoud Abbas don't care about peace deals. He just wants free gifts from everybody. The Palestinian issue in the Middle East right now is just like a business. Like Erdogan, the Turkish president. Every president, as soon as they shot Palestine, everybody would be like, oh yeah, all right, he's pro-Palestine. It's just it's a business. Nobody cares about the Palestinians anymore. That's honestly my, own, my honest opinion. Well, Iran, Iran, us. Iran. Iran. Iran in it for themselves too. Iran don't care about the Palestinians. Iran always cry about how much they love Palestine. But they went to Yemen, they destroyed Yemen, they destroyed Syria along with Bashar al-Assad, and they never entered Palestine. And now Turkey and Iran are, are behind the Palestinians. Is that good for the Palestinians? Honestly, Turkey is just a talk. They're not behind the Palestinians. If they were behind the Palestinians, they will not be having Israelis' embassies in Turkey. So there's Israelis' embassies in Turkey. There's a relationship between Israel and Turkey. Tur Therefore, they're not behind the Palestinians. Turkey will fight and kill the Kurdish on the borders before they go out there to go, you know, after the Israelis. So they're not pro-Palestine, as they claim. They just use a Palestinian issue like a business. But, but when you say go after the Israelis, would, would you see that the issue ought to be solved militarily? Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of issues that has to be solved militarily because there's a lot of, like, territories, like after 1967, where the UN agreed that lands is belong to the Palestinians, and the Israelis are still expanding on that land. They're still taking lands from the, Palis oh, from the Palestinians. So the UN never solved the problem. Well, with Turkey and Iran, the Palestinians have some backing now. With Turkey and, uh, Turkey and Iran, they don't have the Palestinians back. They just have it by talking. How about, how about Qatar? Qatar, no, because Qatar has a relationship with Israel. Qatar is one of the first countries out there made a relationship with Israel after Egypt and Jordan, I believe. Qatar has been having a relationship with Israel for over 15, 20 years. 
Behind the scenes? Behind the scene, yeah. They're all behind the scene. Would you accept Israel as a Jewish state? No, it's Palestine. I mean, they could live their peace. I'm not anti-Jewish, I'm anti-Zionism. It's two different things, you know. Uh, but if the Jews can't live, uh, 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 can't be uh, accepted in any other Muslim state, what makes the you Jews think that they... be accepted in any other uh, Muslim states. In Iran, there's a lot of Jewish. In Yemen, there's a lot of Jewish. No more, no more huh? Jews. In, no, not in Yemen. Not in, in Yemen, Yemen, yes. I think in Ma'rib or Taiz, uh, or they, they have, there's Jews out there in Yemen till this day. Yeah, yeah but, but not in the other uh, uh, Muslim states. Morocco, Morocco has Jewish. It's an exception, though. Yeah, they're living in peace. Not in, not in Egypt, not in Jordan. I, I never seen a, a Jewish Egyptian. I seen Moroccan and Yemenis and uh, Iranians. You know what? You don't see an Egyptian a, a, a Jew because they were all thrown out in 1956, 1973. Uh, I'm not aware of that part of the history. But would a, would a Palest should a Palestinian state uh, be formed? Would Jews be safe there? Yes, uh, I agree. 100 percent. Everybody, should, Christian Jews, everybody should be safe in that land. That land is a holy land for a lot of people, not only for the Muslims. So everybody should live there in peace and be happy and put uh, all this war and uh, behind them. But when Abbas said that not one Jew will live in a Palestine... No, there's a lot of Jews living out there. Actually, I, I met a Jewish Voice for Peace uh, on social media. I talked to a few people there. There's a lot of Jewish actually living in Palestine. They identify themselves as Jewish and Israelis, but they're anti-Zionism. And they say the Zionist, the, the Zionist movement ruined the Jewish religion because a lot of people think all Jewish are evil and they're not. There's a difference between Zionism and Jews. I don't think Jews are permitted in any Palestinian uh, territories, actually. No, in, in Quds, in Jerusalem, there's over 5,000 Jewish living there alongside oh, in, in East Jerusalem. Palestinians. In East Jerusalem. Uh, I'm in not East sure Jerusalem. in what part. All right.